What's good at YouTube? And welcome to the house. You know those clickbait articles that are like, if you have this card, you could have way more money than you know? Well, something that I had forgotten about till I was watching Robbie Cole dual goat format and someone summoned Blade Knight on him and then I jokingly was like, you know what? Do you want an ultimate rare Blade Knight from the OCG? I had flashbacks all of a sudden to the super rare misprints and I was wondering where the super rare misprints had gone in terms of pricing and when we come down, there's a super rare mod play at at 41 and the lowest near mint on all market at 77 when we're over here on ebay the cheapest one there's a plate at around almost 60 and another near mint at 94 so it's pretty crazy out here how these forgotten misprints have gotten and back in my day i know back in my day i'm a Yu-Gi-Oh boomer in my specific area the supers were far more prevalent than the secret rares in fact i remember having a super rare and having a really tough time trying to upgrade to the secret rare to the point that i couldn't do it with a fair trade i'd be like i'll do this in five and nobody would take it back in the day so depending on your area i asked in the misprint collectors group do you guys remember these how was it in your area certain people said they were all over while other people said i remember hunting the supers and i couldn't find them because i liked super rares or that they were non-existent in my area it may depend on area i'm from north texas somebody from europe said the supers were all over there as well so really just depending where the tens were from and distributed you might have had a lot of these and they could just be back there sitting in your collection and you didn't know you have decent money every single one of the collector 10 one promos that are shown on screen here do come in super rare for those of you driving that's insect queen blade knight obnoxious celtic guardian command knight swift gaia the fierce knight and total defense shogun of course those will have different prices depending on the one but if you scroll down through listings you can see that people will have towards i think the highest prices here the misc print incorrect foiling kind of things on um, here at different prices that are much more than the secret rares that have lined up since 10 promos have been going up they relatively seem like they're stonks these misprints they're a little less known they're actually not as flashy typically people considered them at first a lesser version and unwanted because the misprint was so common over time common misprints have skyrocketed through the roof and you could have some extra money you didn't know about so good luck picking bulk looking through your collections and being paranoid every time you're looking at these cards from now on ami ami now has the 5d stardust dragon complete figure this figure is pretty awesome yusei is back up for sale as well if you didn't know there's a yusei figure it's been re-waved so you have a chance to get it from amakuni as well there's only a limit of one per household well there is a limit of one per household i should say over on ami ami they have one of the cheapest prices on it so you may also want to shop around this is nippon yasan doesn't have the best track record with everybody from what i've read from reviews but i've shopped with them many times i've never had a personal problem but they it can be if you're not familiar with japanese shipping techniques a lot harder to work with so here are some japanese sites that will be mailing from japan to the usa keep in mind heavy shipping charges on top for larger figures this thing looks freaking awesome though when we're going through the glams oh yes and i can never stop from bringing you guys the figures instead of just the cards get to the cards john well i think this one is definitely worth featuring on market watch and if it doesn't get rewave after rewave it's gonna spike really hard but the fact that this same company that is really unique to Yu-Gi-Oh figures is already rewaving their Yusei I could imagine this also getting rewaved so I don't know if I would invest for stocks rather than you want a really cool Stardust figure triple tactics talent has skyrocketed ten dollars so about ten percent it was sitting around 94 to 95 almost forever i watched it go to a hundred the other day and now it's at 105 just one night later so you can see the market price is 102 sales are actually happening people are after this in mass there's huge prizes with remote duels for the official tournaments when it comes down to a giant opelosa giant cards also this may be directly because of farfa not to call you out farfa but it really might be his search for the tour guide after he went through that and has had displayed his tour guide i've never seen so many in search of or looking for giant cards posts in the community and years and years and the prices on the giant cards used to be around 500 to 800 and a lot of people are shelling out 14 to 16 on a lot of the cards and i know when arg did their auctions i was also shocked by some of the prices that the giant cards went for but after 
good old Glasgow Yu-Gi-Oh put up his giant card on his wall. People have been really after giant cards, but that point aside, remote duels have pricing like that. People are wanting their physical copies of cards, even with the Megatons on the horizon. There are ways for people to play Yu-Gi-Oh! and win ginormous prizes and official Konami events right now. And Triple Tactic Talents, definitely a card as Rise of the Duelist continues to rise in price sealed people are after speaking of rise of the duelist rising prices ice dragons prison is now 25 dollars and it was a low of 28 over here on tcg player but when i looked on ebay i know the rare looks back and forth it was 18 yesterday now it's gone up towards 20 and does quickly rise to meet that price as well while well, this one starts to cool down yeah yeah trishula ice barrier puns anyways this is definitely though uh up in price a lot of people anticipated another another spike on this card the one of the best good old slow trap cards in the game at disrupting the back and forth formats right now so there's a couple of buyouts that have been happening along with some cards that you maybe didn't know now i want to go ahead and get into my black friday kind of guide of where i'd be going a lot of these will be sponsored but other places will not be because i want to bring you guys always the experience that i I went through as a vendor while shopping around so the first few will be sponsored ones but they have amazing prices as i kind of hinted at Yu-Gi-Oh daily if you're not used to this site code what's good five won't necessarily stack on these but i do have an incentive to bring these to you so be aware i am incentivized to tell you there's amazing deals over here blazing vortex sealed booster cases 575 dollars to the first 50 people i believe that purchase i don't know how long they'll keep this up this is actually actually at a loss to them they just want to continue to get their name out there as one of the best people to bring you product and singles and they're taking an l to ship these out they also have genesis impact coming out real soon if you got excited about those collector rares 630 a case that is an amazing price and i'm glad to see them do it for you guys so Yu-Gi-Oh daily coming out swinging with some sealed deals and we'll see if anything else on the site does go on sale code what's good five does not stack on top of those sealed prices but you can still use it on your other singles now over at tier zero they're planning something big i don't know what yet i'm not really sure but they've told me it's gonna be huge so watch out at tier zero last time they did this escalating sale but they planned to launch on black friday directly this time so i have no clue where they're headed and keep in mind cyber monday is a thing too for people who don't sell out a lot of their stuff Yu-Gi-Oh black market put up a thing saying a huge sale was coming i don't think it's live yet so also keep an eye on Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Market. <coughs> they probably plan to bring something huge and give me a second to drink a little water. This time it's water, not Diet Coke, boys. But uh, with Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Market coming in they should also have a pretty good one i love troll and toads holiday sales especially black friday i've bought some of my own stuff before that i've sold them during my vending days at amazing unique prices so usually when it goes up that's why i really like to have that trade-in uh bonus and what's good five also is good for trading and every single year when they pop up black friday some real bangers of vintage cards get put up in there and vintage product i really like to watch them and of course tcg players should be doing something pretty cool keep an eye out over there core tcg is somewhere that i like to shop on black friday they typically have very cheap product and sleeves and other things that they put out shipping kind of kills the deals because they charge shipping at the end at times so like where other companies give you if you spend over 25 you're getting free shipping uh, shipping can kill a deal so do, do keep that in mind with the cart at core tcg but they usually have some really awesome black friday deals and then arg already has a holiday sale live i don't know what's left after their warehouse clearance but arg also uh, whenever they launch the black friday deal there's usually some back stock of turbo packs astral packs other things that they've had forever for being in the game for so long that they just dig out but they did do a warehouse clearance sale for their move i don't know if it will be as much of a banger there's usually discount codes and other stuff these are all the places i typically shop black friday for Yu-Gi-Oh specifically there's other places of course that i'll be looking for other things in my life but this is a Yu-Gi-Oh channel when it comes down to it ARG and core they're not sponsors I just want to shout them out because I genuinely have bought from them past Black Fridays and they're interesting places to look uh everywhere else that is sponsored I believe my codes will still stack like code what's good five will uh should work whenever you're buying here except for Yu-Gi-Oh daily because they're so slash cut on their prices that 
it, it can't stack. But do check out, check out to see if things work anyways. Let me know what you thought of today's market watch. I know it was kind of a look forward for Black Friday. That's been the most requested thing of me, but I also wanted to bring unique boomer looks at things that you might not have known about that were pretty cool back in my day that you might not have had knowledge about and you don't want to just toss it out thinking uh well it's just another blade night oh that's a little weird misprints are big money these days thanks for watching today's market watch please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video i really appreciate when you do and subscribe if you haven't already what are you doing coming in video after video and not subscribing to enter those free giveaways and you know just hang around and see what pops up in the news also genesis impacts full set spoiler kind of disappointing i figured we led heavily with the best reprints but i look forward to figuring out the other collector rares and we'll be talking about that on stream tonight seven central come and join